There we go. You ready for this? Because I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, we got some dick sight tellies. Alright. Good luck, us. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Oh man, another ancestral top. Okay, wow, dropped, dropped a lot, huh? Ever since I got this one when it was like 220 mil or something, but yeah. Jesus, I was not expecting this. So I'm just raiding, you know, with Pains. He's another YouTuber. You know, I would have killed to get like a bottom, but yo. I mean, it's another top, it's another drop. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I guess I could always drop trade it if I do need money, but I'm gonna keep the second top on my Iron Man just because equipment is always nice to have extra of. So yeah, this should be the right split, but cool, man. So in my inventory is the list of race items that I've gotten, and you can tell that most of the items that I've gotten, I've gotten more than once. So I've gotten placeholder, dragon harpoons, cold eye insignias, ancestral hats, ancestral rope tops, placeholder dragon throne axes, and also placeholders in the prayer scrolls as well, a lot of them. And these are the only three items that are singles so it's getting definitely a lot harder to get more unique items just because my odds of getting unique items are much less than the items that i've already gotten so i'm at 10 out of 15 so the last five is definitely going to be quite a struggle to get it's gonna be uh the grind of the week the first corporal beast kill starting off with some addy bars I'm gonna try to still go for 500 uh, KC this month, but yeah, I'm gonna go for like a solid, I'd say 20 to 30 kills today. Onyx Bolt K, there we go. Two cannonballs so far and a Onyx Bolt, man. That's pretty good. All right, we die. You know what, Corb, you don't kill me fast enough, so I kill myself. Oh my God, yes. Yo, that works. Yo, Rock Hick is actually really good. I'm gonna start using it for my uh, suicides, honestly. Wow, that's insane. This Corporal Beast had really good RNG. But I got Onyx Boats. That's cool. Holy shit. Alright, so I'm gonna stop at 440 KC. I am pretty satisfied. We actually did like almost 30 kills today. So that's really good. And I got 3 Onyx Boats and 2 Cannonball Drops. So. I guess I'll try to find some time to get this next 60 kills for 500 KC this month. Two videos ago, I was uh, wearing the anti-fire shield when I was using the Dragon Hunter crossbow for a test. And I'll show you why I don't wear the Dragon Fire shield for when I was at least ranging. Because look at this, the anti-fire shield has no negative attack bonuses, but watch as I put on the Dragon Fire shield. Minus 10 magic, minus 5 range. Alright guys, so I am trying out magic here at Mithril Dragons. Keep in mind though, I am using like really high end gear. And I think the most important thing is going to be the Try Out the Swamp. And also I am using my uh, Augury Prayer as well. And let me tell you, it is pretty pretty damn strong against at least Metal Dragons. So if you really don't like mailing Metal Dragons because it feels slow, you should definitely try out magic, at least with a trident. However, for me, I'm just gonna stick with melee because I kill them about the same speed and I don't use runes doing it that way, so. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Armor Delta task so soon, eh? Well, I guess I will be getting about 93 Hunter for this upcoming task and also gonna be 900 Armor Delta Casey. Jesus Christ. Just three tasks away, well, including this one, and I'll hit 1,000 giant chicken kill count. What the hell? Please, hilt be 4,000. Actually, step number six gotta be the end. All right, here we go. Rune H5, huh? All right, moment of truth. Oh, cool. This is a amazing milestone number right here, guys. This is the big 400. Oh, damn, man. The big 400 KC. At rates for some pure essence and rune arrows. Jeez. Oh, I sure don't have enough of those already in my bank. Huh? The next big number milestone would be the 500. Alright, here's another one. Oh, 
Oh my god. Wow, dude. That's crazy. Now you have seven uniques. I know. It's got a use. Pretty good. Use for all these bursting tests that I haven't gotten a single one of in about over a month. <laughs> cool to see another red item for the day. Alright, just in time because I'm pretty much done with catching chins for this task with 93 Hunter. I jinxed myself. I really didn't want to have to get a, another hunter level, you know, before the hilt and all that, but oh well. But this should be enough for the armadillo task and then some, because I had 300, so yeah. Pretty good. May this be the last level. So some people have asked me about my plans to train uh, my prayer, like if I'm going to get like 299 or not. And honestly, I don't really have any plans to really train my prayer that much just because Getting it higher at this point doesn't really matter in practicality, but I am getting a lot of like prayer experience though from doing Slayer. Whenever I use like for example Bone Crusher, I get Dragon Bones or Insult Heads for my task. By the time that like hopefully I get this in Be Hard, I'm pretty sure I'll have a lot of those uh, supplies stocked up and we'll get some quick easy prayer levels. Got this hard clue from first trip of the Armadale task. Here we go. Oh, bandos. Oh, no. Armadale plate skirt. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have this. Oh, no, we don't. What? They look the same. Seriously. That is 900 KC at the giant chicken. And I will show you the loot so far from this beautiful task here. I got a dragon stone and a rune square shield. And yeah, that's it. And another task done. I'm now at 920 KC with no signs of a uh, armadillo hilt. Another task we go. Another task we'll have to do. Well, second hard clue from the armadillo task. So here we go. Oh, black cavalier. Oh my god. I definitely never gotten this one before. That's cool. So the Infernal update is coming out in less than probably 5 hours. I don't think I'm missing any like equipment, maybe besides like a twisted bow that might potentially be incredibly useful for the Infernal. I am pretty versed in all combat styles, melee, range, magic, and of course in supplies I should be solid, you know, if I need bruise or whatever, I got it and restores and all that. Also in food as well if I need them. And uh, one last thing of course is the stats. I don't think you can really get much better than you know these stats. Maybe besides a little bit of prayer but I doubt it will affect me too much. So I have a question if you want me to do like a maybe a full video of a, an attempt or maybe a successful attempt then I could probably put that on my channel as well. If you are watching this video on June 1st 2017 I will definitely let you guys know when I will be live streaming the Inferno attempt. That's it for today's video guys. I know it's a little short but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as usual. Made some pretty decent progress. And in the next video though, that is gonna be a pretty exciting video. So I hope you guys look forward to the next episode with Inferno content. Alright, catch you guys maybe on the live stream. Take care.